Hi, Teacher of Strings here, and this is your first violin lesson. Okay, so we have um, a ribbon for five goals. So you're going to learn five things, and then you're going to get a ribbon that you can put on your violin. The first ribbon is going to be white. The second rib ribbon is going to be yellow. The third ribbon is going to be orange, and so on and so forth. So you'll get green, um, blue, red, purple, and then black. When you get your black ribbon, you're ready to um, play on an ensemble. So you're ready to play with other students. Okay, so you have five goals this week. One goal is to just know how to take care of your instrument, pick it up and put it back in the case, and know where it's supposed to go. The second goal is to be in rest position and playing position so you know how to hold your instrument. The third goal is to use the left hand to shape, um, to make a good shape so that when your fingers go down um, in a couple weeks, we'll be able to put your fingers down and then make beautiful notes. And then you have two songs. Um, one is called the open string song and one is called the harmony to biolum cabbage down. Now you're not gonna need the bow, and um, you're gonna pluck it with your finger. So those are your goals. Um, we're going to work on them. If we don't get them all this week, that's okay. We're gonna work on them again next week. Okay, so we're gonna talk about getting your instrument out and putting it away. We're not gonna worry about the bow this week at all. This is the bow right here, and this is the violin. So we're not going to worry about getting that bow out at all this week. That will be next week. So this week we're just going to learn how to handle our violin. So there's a couple things you need to be aware of before you pick it up. One is the pegs. The pegs are right here. And if you turn the pegs, you could um, knock the instrument out of tune. So we're not going to touch the pegs. We're going to leave that up to mom and dad. And then the other thing are the fine tuners. A lot of times we like to fidget with our toys, but these are not to be turned. We're going to leave that up to mom and dad too. The last thing you need to be aware of is this is called the bridge. The bridge here is not glued on. So if you put a lot of pressure or pick up the instrument with the strings, you're going to pop that um, bridge off. And then um, you're not going to be able to play your violin until Miss Morris can fix it. So let's not mess with the bridge at all. Okay? So a safe place to pick up the instrument is the neck. I put my fingers underneath the neck and pick it up like this. Now, before you pick it up, I want you to make sure you're standing up. So you need to not, like you don't want to pick it up and then stand up. So you want to stand up and then reach down with your hand and pick it up and put it under your right arm. With your shoulder rest. If you notice that one side is curved, one side is flat. So what you're going to do is you're going to put the curved side up against your shoulder. So you want the flat side up against the violin. So you're going to take the shoulder rest and you're going to put it flat against the violin with the thinner part with the chin rest and the thicker part on the other side. So you just put that there and then you wrap the rubber bands around the sponge like that. That's how you put on your shoulder rest. Are you ready? Okay, we are standing. Now that we're standing, we're gonna take our hand. We're gonna take our left hand, pick up the violin with the neck, put it under our arm, and then we're gonna close our feet. Like this. So this is rest position. Your feet are together. Your violin is under your right arm, and both hands are down. I want you to stand in rest position just like this. Keep your scroll out just like this while we sing the rest position song. Rest position, feet in line. Scroll in front, that's mighty fine. Check your bridge cause it should be peeking out at you and me. Now it's time to take a bow. Uno, dos y tres is how. You take a bow. 
So that is rest position. I'm going to move into plane position. So what I want you to look at my feet. Watch my feet go out and in. Can you make your feet go out and in like this? Make a V with your feet and then bring them in. My shoes are sticky today. Are your shoes sticky today or are they slippery? Out and in. Okay, so we're going to get into plank position. So I want you to make a V with your feet and step out. And then you're gonna take your left arm and you're gonna put it on the shoulder of the violin. You're going to move your head over, bring the violin out. Then you're gonna turn the violin towards your face and then in to your shoulder. And then you're gonna bob your chin, make sure your chin is on your violin. And then we're gonna bob our knees and make nice squishy knees. So they were really straight and tall and now we're gonna make nice Squishy knees. We're going to go through that one more time and we're going to assign each one a step. So this is step one. This is step two. We kind of like this baby shark. Is this baby shark? Baby shark. Make the baby shark chomp the violin. And then step three is turning your head. Step four is bringing your violin out. Like, like Statue of Liberty, right? Step five is bringing it into your shoulder. Step six is bobbing your chin. Oh, and my knees are nice and straight. I need nice squishy knees, so I'm going to do step seven. And then we have one more step. So if you have your shoulder rest on and it's nice and secure, and you feel it nice and secure between your shoulder and your chin, you're going to let go. Step eight. And those are all the steps to get into playing position. And then you just put your hand right back there on the shoulder and tap, 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 tap. That is going from rest position to playing position. In slow motion, we're going to take those steps this week. Ready? Do it one more time. Step one, step two, Step three, step four, step five, step six, step seven, step eight. Right back, make sure your knees are squishy and tap, tap, tap with your fingers. Nice round fingers. So now we're gonna use our left hand. We're gonna learn how to use our left hand. And there's a little story that goes with it. It's about four passengers on an airplane. They go for an airplane ride to go on vacation. They eat a banana. They see a waterfall. And there's a rainbow over the waterfall. So you're gonna hold your violin in rest position or guitar position for this across the front of your body. Then you're going to take this hand and you're gonna find the base of your first finger right here with the crease. And then you're going to put that crease on the neck. So your hand is straight and flat like a piece of paper. And then you put that crease on the neck. And then you slide that one, two, three, four. Did you know that the plane ride was four hours long for our four little friends? Oh my heavens. Okay, so four. One, two, three, four. Make sure that this part of the finger stays on the neck the whole time. One, two, three, four. If it falls off, you might wanna practice that a little bit. Then you're gonna take your thumb, and we don't want a crooked thumb or a bent thumb like this. On the left hand, we want a banana thumb. Did you see that my, my finger looks like a banana? It goes so banana thumb. 
We're gonna tap that banana thumb just like that on the other side of the neck. One, two, three, four. Because they each need a banana, right? One, two, three, four. We're gonna tap it. One, two, three, four. Then we see the waterfall. Do you, know, do you see the waterfall? The waterfall goes right down there. So let me ask you, is this a waterfall? No, that's not a waterfall. Is this a waterfall? No, that's not a waterfall. This is a waterfall, very nice and straight. And over the waterfall, they see a rainbow. So these fingers come over this way. And is this a rainbow? No. Um, but these are rainbow fingers, just like this. And we tap, 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 tap. And then they heard some ukulele. Strum, strum, strum. Now, when you're tapping your fingers and you're strumming, don't forget that these two places need to touch the neck of the violin. So you have here and you have here. Um, so when you're strumming, you've still got a hold of the violin and you don't let go while you're tapping and strumming. That's super important. When you're tapping and strumming, you also don't let the waterfall move back and forth. You keep it nice and straight. So let me show you that one more time. Nice flat piece of paper with your hand. Find the base of the finger with the crease. One, two, three, four. Tap your thumb. One, two, three, four. Tap your fingers. One, two, three, four. Banana, thumb, strum, strum. So that's how you set up your left hand. One, two, three, four. Tap your thumb. One, two, three, four. Tap your fingers. One, two, three, four. Banana, thumb, strum, strum. So that's how you practice using your left hand.